Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. m is equal to square root of 4n squared plus 165. We need to find all possible values of m and n, where m and n are positive integers. It means m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0. So, let's start by taking square of both sides. m is equal to square root of 4n squared plus 165. And from here, we take square of both sides of this equation. So, at left side, we are left with m squared is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this square root. And at right side, we are left with 4n squared plus 165. Now we move this 4n squared to the left side. m squared minus 4n squared is equal to 165. Next, m squared minus this 4n squared can be written as 2n whole squared is equal to 165. Now, at left side, we have difference of two squares. So, by using this algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This m squared minus 2n squared will become m plus 2n times m minus 2n is equal to 165. Now, at left side, we have a product of two factors. So, we factorize this 165. This 165 can be factorized as, first we divide this 165 by 3. 3 5 times 15 and 3, 5 times 15. Now, this 55 is divisible by 5. So, 5 1 time, 5 1 time. It means uh, 165 is equal to 3 times 5 times 11. So, possible pairs of uh, factors of uh, 165 are 1 time 165. 5, 3 times, this 5 times 11, 55, and 5 times, this 3 times 11, 33, and 11 times 15, 11 times 15, and 15 times 11, 30, 3 times 5, 50, 5 times 3, and 160, 5 times 1. Now, because m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0, so this value m plus 2n, m plus 2n is greater than this value m minus 2n. So, this option will be rejected, this option will be rejected, this option will be rejected and this option will be rejected. We are left with only these four cases. Case 1 is 15 times 11, case 2 is 33 times 5 and case 3 is 55 times 3 and case 4 is 165 times 1. First, we solve this case 1. In case 1, we write this uh, m plus 2n times m minus 2n, m plus 2n times m minus 2n equal to this uh, 15 times 11. 
15 times 11. We write this m plus 2n equal to this uh, greater factor 15. m plus uh, 2n is equal to 15. And we write this uh, smaller factor m minus 2n equal to this uh, smaller factor 11. m minus 2n is equal to 11. And we add these two equations. This uh, m plus m will become 2 times m and this positive 2n will be cancelled with the negative 2n is equal to 15 plus 11 26. If we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of m is equal to 13. Now we put this value of m 13 in this equation. So this becomes 13 plus 2 times n is equal to 15 and 2n is equal to 15 minus 13 and 2n is equal to 2. If we divide both sides by 2, we get the value of n is equal to 1. So, from first case, we get the value of m 13 and value of n is 1. Now, we solve this case to 33 times 5. In case 2, we write uh, this uh, m plus 2n times m minus 2n, m plus uh, 2n times m minus 2n equal to this uh, 33 times 5, 33 times 5. Now, we write this uh, m plus 2n equal to this 33. m plus 2 times n is equal to 33. And we write this m minus 2n equal to this 5. m minus 2n equal to 5. And we add these two equations. This 1m plus 1m will become 2 times m and this positive 2n will be cancelled with this negative 2n. And at right side, we are left with 33 plus 5, 38. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get the value of m is equal to 19. Now, we put this value of m 19 in this equation. This equation will become 19 plus 2 times m is equal to 33. And we move this 19 to the right side, then 2m is equal to 33 minus 19 and 2m is equal to 14 and m is equal to 7. So, from this case we get the value of m 19 and value of m 7. Now, we solve this case 3 55 times 3 in case 3. We write this m plus 2n times m minus 2n m plus 2n times m minus 2n equal to this 55 times 3, 55 times 3. Now, we write this m plus 2n equal to this greater factor 55, m plus 2 times n is equal to 55 and we write this smaller factor m minus 2n equal to this smaller factor 3 m minus 2n is equal to 3 and we add these two equations this 1m plus 1m will become 2 times m and this positive 2n will be cancelled out with this negative 2n is equal to 55 plus 3 58 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of m is equal to 29 we put this value of m 29 in this equation so this equation becomes 29 plus 2 times n is equal to 55 so 2n will be equal to 55 minus 29 
and 2n is equal to 26. If we divide both sides by 2, we get the value of n is equal to 13. So, from this case, we get m is equal to 29 and n is equal to 13. Now, we solve this case for 165 times 1. In case 4, we write this m plus 2n times m minus 2n, m plus 2n times m minus 2n equal to 165 times 1. Now, we write this m plus 2n equal to this greater factor 165 m plus 2n is equal to 165 and we write this smaller factor m minus 2n equal to this smaller factor 1 m minus 2n equal to 1 and we add these two equations. So, m plus m 2m and this positive 2n will be cancelled out with this negative 2n is equal to 165 plus 1 166 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of m is equal to 83. Now, we put this value of m 83 in this equation. So, this equation will become 83 plus 2 times n is equal to 165 and 2n is equal to 165 minus 83 and 2n is equal to 165 minus 83 82 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of n is equal to 41. So, from this case we get the value of m 83 and value of n 41. So, the final set of solutions of m comma n is equal to the first pair is 13 comma 1 and second pair is 19 comma 7 and third pair is 29 comma 13 and the fourth pair is 83 comma 41.